Thank you, Henry. Uh, morning, everybody. My name's Sebastian. How are you all doing? Um, I'm here to talk to you today about the Lytton High School App Club. Let me just get my notes, sorry. Before I begin, I would like to thank Core Education for their sponsorship. Without their support, none of this would be possible, and great things will come thanks to them. So thank you for their support. Digital Sharks Developers, DSD for short. Digital Sharks Developers is the name of our club. It is a combination of digital natives and our school motif, a hammerhead shark. Lytton High School gives the opportunity for students in our school to learn and develop small apps within a collective environment. Who can join DSD? Any students with an interest or an idea to create digital apps. I will now briefly explain the process of how we operate and develop apps. The process begins with concept development. The process begins, uh, sorry, where anyone can bring ideas to the table. From game ideas to business apps, um, the concepts can vary. The finalized concepts um, then move around to the artists who draft the ideas into visual images. The artist process in itself is, goes through several stages before the concepts are ready for the next stage, which is the programming stage. Here, everything falls in place. The art and concepts are pieced together on various programs to make the final product an iDevice application. The app then moves on to the testers, who put them to the test and push every aspect of the apps to find their weaknesses, refining and ironing out their creases. After the tests are complete, the app moves to the last stages of finalization before being submitted to Apple, Android, and other online stores for mass distribution through the net. The apps go up on the likes of the App Store and our website, um, which is also run by our own students. Here is the last stage where we have a collective online gathering of our work, our members, and people all over the world. The website contains info and details on all aspects of the club, including testing pages, downloads, profiles, and a forum for ease of learning. The last step of the circle of development, the website, is also the starting point for more ideas to generate a creative online location for creative young minds to come together and start full cycle back to the concept development. Of course, I've only briefly covered each stage of the process. I will now move deeper into each individual aspect and let some of our members explain and demonstrate. There's a little gif of our website currently. Concept developer. A DSD member wants a simple memory game to be a part of an app that is educating people on sea life around Gisborne. Concept development is anyone's game. The birth of an app begins here, simply with an idea. Ideas triggered by something you might see, something you might hear, something you've always had as an idea, or something completely bizarre and random. Anything is a possible concept. From here, the concept has to be written down. Storylines, level plans, layout, gameplay, buttons, and characters. Then the technical aspects, of course, how it will fit, what platform, tilt functions, etc. Brainstorming is the essential element of this part of the development, writing down as much as possible and exploring different possibilities to achieve diversity, interest, enjoyment, and many other aspects a good application needs. Once the concept is ready to move on, the concept developer can go to our website and look through our artist profiles to find the exact artist style that they have in mind. The concept developer would then approach the specific artist to submit their idea so that they can work collectively to create visual and artwork for their app concept. 
Of course, it is possible that the app, the concept, sorry, the concept developer is an artist themselves. In this respect, the most important and most useful aspect of our group is that it is possible to do every step of the development yourself. Because with the amount of people specializing in each stage, you can learn anywhere, anytime, and get help from any of our incredibly talented members. Like this, we all learn together from each other as we progress and build our individual reputation as developers. I will now invite Kaya Robertson and Taylor Pahuru, two of our artists, to come up and expand on what it is exactly that they do. Basically what I do is I get the designs from people and I just put them into game cells, which is what we're using at the moment, as you can see here, and I make the magic happen. I basically just tell things to do what I want them to do and then just figure out how to make it the most efficient way possible. I've just got a short video here of a uh, short... You're the, you're the gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you put it like that. Um, I've got a short video here of um, a, just a quick, like, well, you guess you could call it a game that I made last night. Just a two minute video. So. so, first steps is making the actors that are controlled by the player. And then I would go into the players and change the appearance and make sure that they are all going to do what I want them to. Is that right? Um, <laughs> no, this this is um, like the the in in game salad. This is the um, the controls that are built in. So here I'm just um, making the second scene and making movements between them. And as you can see there, those are the controls that I've just added in. And now I'm just making. Some minor adjustments. So automatic. <laughs> and now I'm just building the basic layout for the game. It's it's a maze game. Maze. And when you touch the size of the maze, it was gonna change to this scene. So I'm just making the um, end scene. That's the final scene. And now here I'm just changing the camera size so you don't see the whole scene at the same time. That's, that's the whole idea behind it. And now I'm just 
just giving giving the controlled player a couple of images and making it move, I guess, that's one way of putting it. And then that's basically the final game. I'm just ten minutes in there. I've got the very basic setup for a game. That's basically all it is. Thanks, Milo, for that. I will now invite two of our testers, Lillian and Kirby, to come up and talk about what it is that they do. Thank you, Lillian Kirby. I would now like to invite one of the, the final stage of our development process um, leader, uh, our web developer, Jacob, to come up and talk about what it is that he does.
Right, thank you for that, Jacob. I'll just talk a little bit more about the websites. On our websites, um, every student at our school, eventually, at currently only our members, will have an avatar. Uh, the avatar represents who they are on the website and what they do, so whichever of the five stages that they belong to. Um, this avatar represents DSD member Marshall. The image was created by this member. So basically, the avatars and, of course, their profile pages is where they can upload their work so people can see exactly what it is they do, their specific style. Um, this is just an artist's um, concept, uh, sorry, profile page. We also have developers um, profile pages, programmer profile pages, um, concept developer profile pages. So whatever you're looking for exactly, you can go onto a website and locate exactly who it is you need to talk to for help on exactly what it is you're after. I will now invite two other members of our group, uh, Raymond and Joel, to come up and talk about something different. Uh, hey guys, my name is Joel Beattie and this is Ray Goose. Uh, we're the founders of an app developing business called Panda Pursuit, oh, called uh, Cutco Apps. This year we have released our first app on the App Store and Google Play called uh, Panda Pursuit. Have a, this is a promo advertising uh, what the game's about. Ah, uh, there's supposed to be sound with it, but we're <laughs> far more intense with sound. Uh, Ray and I are also senior members of Digital Sharks, or DSD. Uh, we help the younger members troubleshoot if they come across problems and mentoring them. Uh, Panda Pursuit was a brilliant uh, learning curve for Ray and I, uh, and we hope to use the knowledge we have learnt to work towards a larger project in the future, uh, perhaps even in the community. Next year, Ray and I look to take a further step in programming by uh, studying it at university. We hope to form a career based around programming and app developing. Thank you. Thank you, Ray and Joel, for that. I would like to say a couple more thank yous. Once again, thank you to our school for support, our teachers for pushing us and motivating us, Ray and Joel for inspiring us all in kickstarting this, Core Education for their sponsorship and their support. Thank you for all of you here watching us, and a huge shout out to all of our Linden students and our app developers all here today that are going to support us. I have great expectations for our group, and I can see that we will grow and thrive as a community. Coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success, famous quote by Henry Ford. And our school motto, together to excellence. May I please get my group to stand and if we can give them one more round of applause guys. Thank you.